How you guys doing? Sean Shark here with Custom Offsets. We wanted to take a chance and just kind of go through how the best way is to use the site. A lot of times guys are coming to us through Google. They're, they're landing on an actual truck page. No matter where you come to customoffsets.com, you're gonna have the top toolbar. Probably the most important ones, add mine where you can add your truck to the gallery or your car, the gallery itself or the store. Right now I just wanna run through the gallery, the best way to search it, the way we use it every day with our customers in here at the store. So once you come to the gallery, you're gonna see that there's about 5,000 vehicles in here. The best thing to do is to filter it looking for your truck, but don't over filter it. What we've done to improve is we've actually reduced the number of filters you'll initially see, and then there's still an advanced search if you wanna really dig in. But I can come here and just look up my make, Chevrolet, then I can go to the model. Let's say I've got a Silverado 1500. And you can see every time I choose something, it's reducing the number of vehicles. Now I've got it down to about 1,460 vehicles. If I wanna see what's gonna fit best on a leveled truck, probably the most common question we get, I can choose a suspension of leveling kit and now it's only showing me the leveled Chevy Silverado 1500s. You can either start browsing right now and just looking at the vehicles or you can go another step and say, you know, just show me the 20s. I wanna see how wide can I go and how big of a tire on a Chevy Silverado 1500 with a leveling kit. So once you get here, now you can start looking at vehicles. This is one that popped up last week. Pretty impressive setup. He's got 20 by 12, 22 by 12 negative 44s on a 30550. So you can see that with just a leveling kit, he was able to fit these 12 inch wide wheels with a 34 inch by 12 inch tire, 30550. The, there's more details here too. You can see what kind of lift kit, leveling kit he's got, whether there's rubbing or scrubbing, how much plastic trimming he had to do, if any, and then whether the vehicle has spacers. And then you can also see that they can put in any other details about their build. So that's probably the easiest way. Using the back button, it'll take me right back to that same search about where I was at. I think the rule of thumb is don't over search. So if you're just looking for what's gonna fit, maybe don't jump right into a 14 inch wide wheel because if there aren't any people that have done a Silverado 1500 with a 14 inch wide wheel, they're not gonna come up. You're not gonna get any results. So you wanna limit the search in the number of filters that you choose so that you can then just kind of start browsing and checking out what other people have done. Hopefully that helps out. That's kind of the basics of how we use the site here at the store. A lot of times we get customers just come in and say, I want the biggest, widest wheel I can fit on my leveled Chevy Silverado 1500. And that's exactly how we do it. So if you have any more questions, hit us up, let us know. We'll keep doing some how-to videos and helping out.